this class, we're going to take a look at the evolution of detective fiction from its Anglo-American origins and to see how it expands around the world. This will be a partial examination because we only have five weeks to do it, but I'd like to see what happens in Latin America and Europe and how writers around the globe begin to expand what we conceive of as detective fiction and what all of those transformations imply for how the genre is read and what it represents now. And I've always been an avid reader uh, since I was a teenager. I've taught a number of undergraduate and graduate classes, I've given papers, I've written and I've directed undergraduate honors theses and dissertations. So what I propose we do this summer is take a look at how the detective novel and detective short stories, a genre that inspires so much passion among readers, evolves over time and as it expands around the world beyond its Anglo-American roots. We'll begin by taking a look at the origins of the genre in the works of Edgar Allan Poe, its rise to hegemony uh, through the writings of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and its transformation at the hands of Dashiell Hammett and other practitioners of what came to be known as the hard-boiled detective fiction. From there, we're going to take a trip to Argentina to see what Jorge Luis Borges, one of the architects of the Latin American new novel and short story in the last century, does to and with the detective fiction, the novel. In the course of that investigation, you're going to learn the difference between a whodunit and what critics have been wont to call the whodunit, the postmodern detective novel. From there, our travels are going to take us to Europe, and our first stop will be Spain, where we'll look at the novels of Manuel Vázquez Pontulbán and how he blurs the boundaries between the hard-boiled genre and the classical genre and the reasons for so doing. We're then going to go to Sicily and Venice. In Sicily, we'll look at the works of Andrea Camogliere and how he creates one of the most compelling vexing and interesting of literary characters, Inspector Salvo Montalbano. Our brief tour of the world in detective fiction is going to end in Venice. There we'll look at the Inspector Brunette novels written by the American expatriot author Donna Leon. I hope that our preliminary investigation is going to inspire you to continue reading and exploring how an important literary genre transforms over time and as it expands around the globe. The game is afoot. Join me this summer in Oro Valley. As things heat up in the north of Tucson this summer, so will our investigation. After all, it's elementary. <laughs>